continuous beam design in Procon. So you need to open Procon. You can see home, go to concrete. Then you can see CB, continuous beam, open. So I will just uh, not change anything here. Maybe you can change this to class 20. The rest can just remain the way they are. My cover is 2B, 25, 25, 1.4 for dead load, 1.6 for live load. Everything else is okay, right? Then I will go to sections. So let's say I have this beam here. This is a water tank beam. I want it, I want to design this beam. So my beam, my beam, the span is, it has a span of, uh, uh, let's say, uh, 4, and this one here is a span of 2.6, okay? This one has a span of 4. From here to here is a span of 4. And from here to here is a span of 2.6. So I can just add the dimensions. There. Then I will change this one to 400 millimeters. Just custom 4,000. Okay. Then let me add the dimension here. This one now is um, 2600. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry for that. 2600. Eh? So now, let's um, make them uh, more visible. Let me change my text side to 4. Okay, so I want to design this beam. This beam is carrying a water tank from here and a water tank from here. I mean, it carrying this slab and this slab. This slab has a dead load of, let's say, five from the water tank, and uh, has a um, uh, uh, this has a live load of just one point five, right? So after you carry this load to this beam. Um, let me open uh, design spreadsheets. Uh, load from slab to beam. Let's say um, if you use that uh, load from slab to uh, Excel sheet. You might find, okay, let me add my section. I have section one, just one section. 200 by 450. Okay. Span, my span of section one is four meters. Just one and here one. My support uh, is uh, support one. Not can deliver its column 200 by 300. My height is, um, let's say, 3 meters. Again, support 2, 200 by 300, 3 meters. Okay. My slab thickness is 0.15. Okay, my self weight concrete is 24. And then I have floor finishes of 1. I have live load of uh, 1.5. Let's say uh, 1.5. So my total live load 
So this one, my span is um, 2.6 for the long span and 2. I have one, um, um, I have a load of about 4. 4, 4, so twice. So I'll go to loading. It's just span 1. Load case 1 is dead load. Span 1. Weight, uh, dead load is 8 kN. Because it is twice. From this lab and from this lab. Okay. And this one is a short side, so this one is a uh, rectangular. I mean triangular for mid. Again, I have this point load, this beam here. This beam is carrying this lab and this lab. So it is carrying 4.9, 4.9. That is about uh, 9.8. 9 okay? It's carrying 9.8 from this lab and this lab. Its self weight is about 2, about 1.6. That is um, uh, 10.4. Okay, 10.4. So I'll add 10.4 multiplied by because it's a point load which is coming at this point. It will be 10.4 multiplied by 2.6 divided by 2. That will be 10.4 times 1.3. Okay, 10.4 times 1.3 because it's a point load. You must multiply, it will come as kilonewton, not kilonewton meter. Okay, so I will add that point load at this point. That 10.4 times 1.3 is about, uh, let's say, at a, let's say a load of about, um, there's a dead load. Or I can just add it here. There's a point load of about 14. At which distance? 2.6. 2 meters, eh? There. We could add uh, the load due to, yeah, that is that is the load. Now we'll go to if there is wind load, you can just add it here. There's no wind load. I'll go to view input. So I'll go to parameters, view, deflection. You can see the deflection. Moments, still. Everything go to reinforcement. Uh, my maximum, minimum is uh, maximum is 16. Again, my startup, I just use 8 and 10. Again, maximum of 16 at the top. Then generate reinforcement. So here I will need 2 to 12 and 2. And one T twelve. I mean three T twelve. So we can go to startups. So if I come here, long term deflection. Long term deflection should be equals to ultimate should be equals to ultimate deflection should be equals to let me add my text 500 over i mean should be equals to length length so i'm just adding text not dimension should be equals to length over 500 that is the ultimate okay and the length of that uh, uh, is 4 meters. So, four, 4 meters divided by 500 will be about 4. Will be about four, um, 4 millimeters. So, if you check the long term deflection here, the long term deflection here is. Uh, if we go to calculations, long term deflection is 5.9, right? So that is higher than what we need. We need long term deflection to be less than 
four four millimeters because um you find that ultimate deflection is equals to length over 500 so length divided by by uh, 4,000 4, divided by 500 is, is about 4. It's about 8. 4,000 divided by 500 is about 8. So this one is actually okay. Because 4,000 4, divided by 500 is like 40 divided by 5, which is 8. So actually this one has passed. Okay? And that is what you're supposed to indicate here at long term, long -term deflection. So you've got reinforcing, startups, shear reinforcement. You can see you need 15. Um, SA at to fifty. Okay, and my startup is R eight. So you need uh, you need fifteen T eight at to fifty. So you can just use two hundred. This is our cross section. You can just right click, save as. Then I'll change here to DXF, save whatever I need. I can add a name, save. I can go to share reinforcement, save us again, like that. Then this, if this one is a, is a continuous beam, just need to go to section, add there. Maybe you are designing. If it's a continuous beam, we just add section two. Now this one will be having two supports, maybe two hundred by four fifty. We'll be having three supports, spans. Maybe span one is four, span two is maybe six. Okay, one, one. Supports. We have support three. It may be um, again 200 by 200 height of 3 meters and again you add the load so we do not actually add live load so to add live load just indicate it's live is span 1 a live load of about just 6 then load span 2 maybe uh, 9 this is span 2, if I have to indicate it's span 2, then live load, span 2, maybe a load of 5, okay, then you go, you check uh, the uh, deflection, the ultimate deflection, then here, uh, if I go to reinforcement, generate reinforcement, yes, now if I check my, uh, my, my ultimate deflection, it's 13 and if you divide 6,000 6, divided by 5 uh, 6, 60 divided by 5 is about 12 now this one is higher than what we need which means here at reinforcing uh, here at main reinforcement we are going to change this one to 16 okay now let's view you can see now this one has passed because the ultimate deflection is less than 12. It's the maximum deflection is less than ultimate deflection. That is the ultimate allowable deflection that is 12 meter, millimeters. So uh, that will be the end of this video. If you like my video, please do consider subscribing to my channel. I'll see you in another video.